Hello and welcome to a special episode of Hard Talk India from a windswept and autumnal Srinagar. The falling leaves mark one year of the Mufti Muhammad Zaid government. How has it performed and how will it face up to the great challenges that lie ahead? Join me in a moment when I interview the Chief Minister of the Indian state of Jammu and Kashmir. Chief Minister, let's start with your healing touch policy. Have you been able to heal the wounds or are they still bleeding? I must say in the last election in which we were most transparent and fair, people of Jammu and Kashmir voted for change, for good governance, for the restoration of normalcy, for peace with dignity. We tried to be uh, responsive to their urges and aspirations. Have you had a good first year? I think we had a good first year. Uh, I must give you the number of measures we took. For instance, we made administration which was uh, quite dormant. We made it accountable, we made it dynamic. We tried to utilize whatever the resources available, properly utilize them. We tried to uh, provide succor, help, jobs to the victims of militancy. And we distributed social security benefits. For instance, there are thousands of orphans, orphans, disabled persons, senior citizens and widows. And most important was the electricity. There was electricity breakdown. During uh, peak hours, we have been providing electricity to all the cities and villages. In that case, Chief Minister, let's then test some of those claims. One of the things that concerns people in Srinagar is custodial debts. Before you came to power, you used to say that even one would not be acceptable. Yet in the one year you've been in power, there have been 22. I must make it uh, abundantly clear that during my meetings with the Unified Command, which is represented by Army, Paramilitary Force and Police, we told the security fire dealing with militancy they have a way to avoid human rights violations. Number one achievement my, of my government is there is a sense of security among the people. Uh, during previous years, at six in the evening, all the shops would get closed. Nobody could travel from Srinagar to Anantnaak. Banhal Tunnel was to, to be closed by six. Chief Minister, so, the shops no doubt keep open for people, longer, people. but what about disappearances? The Association of Parents of Disappeared People say that in 2001 there were 33 disappearances, in 2002 there were 59. But in your one year, the number has Make jumped to 120. I must say this is a disinformation campaign. There have been 87, as alleged, 87 and disappearance. We made an investigation. Out of them, 30 are working in their own homes. 20 had joined militancy. Out of 25 were uh, assassinated. You, you call this a disinformation so campaign, this a, this but a, these are figures must, given by the Public Commission for Human no, Rights, a this, this, this is the organization. This is the information given by us to them. This is, this is the factual position. There have been as far as custodial death, human right violation, they have been exception to the general rule. But have they? If there have been, have been any instances, we have taken action. You see, you say that an exception to the general rule. I must tell but you, there were 22 no, this year, there were 26 in, last year. No, the difference is negligible. No, it's not negligible because on facts, that's not correct. We produced with them, 30 of them were working in their homes. Present in their home. Okay. 20, 20 of them joined militants. Okay. You but I must tell you, this is very clear as far as human rights violation, as far as access, as far as custodial justice have been minimum. If there have been any instances, we have taken action. Okay. You they, say they are minimum. They in one minister. instance where one civilian was killed, our core commander went on spot, Kriri village, and he apologized. And he adopted the son of the victim. But so wherever one no, instance, wherever, there are 22 wherever, more customers. No, wherever such excesses are committed, we made 
the security forces, even army, even police accountable. Let's then take up not custodial debts, not disappearances. Let's take up something that you promised in your common minimum program, the releasing of detainees. In your minimum program, you said the government shall release all detainees held on non-specific charges, those not charged with serious mm -hmm. crimes, and those who have been held on charges that are such that the period they have spent in jail exceeds their possible sentence. Yet you've only released some two dozen people. No, not at all. Hundreds of them. Main, main, uh, we have been very considerate, very sympathetic, but like Mr. Uh, Gilan, who was in uh, uh, jail, Jharkhand. Uh, she was shifted. Quite right. She and was Yassin Malik treatment. as well. But that's like the Yassin point. Malik. But Many others. But those are the two big names. There no, are, are hundreds of ordinary no, Kashmiris a, languishing you, in jail. We don't want it. Democracy is a battle of ideas. We don't want to uh, keep people under detention, except those who are very hardcore, who disturb the peace, at more share of the peace in the state. Chief Minister, so you say is, that you've released people, hmm. but the Public Commission for Human Rights, a Kashmiri organization based in Srinagar, made up of your own people, says hmm that hundreds of ordinary detainees are languishing in jail. He's let them down. He's no, forgotten about only, them. Only those, only those who are involved in some uh, acts, they have committed some People acts. say he's released just two dozen no, detainees, no, 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 no more. It is in hundreds. I must say it is a hundred. Why don't people believe that then? No, I, I can't say. I can't say why they don't believe, but there is no case. Let like me that. pause we for We don't a... want to keep people under detention. You see, our policy, it is our constant endeavor is to release them. You Not see, Chief Minister, you came to power promising a healing touch. Mm -hmm. I raised three critical issues that people wanted relief on. Disappearances, custodial debts, release of detainees. Oh, yes. On all three, your own people say he's done nothing. Who is my own people? The Public Commission for Human no, Rights. No, 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 no. I don't think they are sure, certain on facts. It has been a very relaxed atmosphere. How is the change in the atmosphere? You say... It, it is because uh, it has been free atmosphere. No doubt the atmosphere is free. No one denies that. The atmosphere today is more free than it's been for a decade. That's right. But I'm talking about the facts in critical areas. You've had 22 custodial deaths in the one year you've been in power. In the preceding year, there were 26. People say there's no real difference. They were not reported. I say, when we are in opposition, every lady, every mother, every system would come and say, our boy has been taken away. Now, that's not the case. So, in other words, there, these, are, these accurate are exceptions to the general rule. You're saying there's accurate reporting yes, today. You have, been here. you have been here. You have been around. So, you're saying previously the figure One was higher. One of the ambassadors of European Union came to me. He said, I don't want to of security. I want to go Ladakh. I want to go in my own car. You have to come, you can go. It's not just that people have doubts about things like detainees being released or custodial deaths or disappearances. Even on something that's verifiable, like the special operations group, mm -hmm. they say that the chief minister promised to assimilate it. That was part of his common men program. Other than change the command structure, the SOG remains intact. I, I don't see that because SOG was part of a uh, police force. That's not SOG, it was a separate. Has form. it been assimilated? Change, yes, it has been it assimilated. It has been assimilated. It has been assimilated. Then explain this to me. How is it that at the end of August, the Prime Minister publicly announced a grant of 25 crore for the officers of the SOG? No, I don't see that. That is misinformation. There is no such grant for SOG. It no, was released not by the all. Prime Minister's office. There are very few, insignificant number of officers. Some SPs were put in charge of some operation. They are back in their parent organization. But I am quoting facts released by the Prime Minister's office in a formal statement in Srinagar at the end of August. I don't see. I don't see. It may be the rehabilitation of uh, militants. Maybe about that. Not in this case. The Not formal about. statement of the sure Prime I'm Minister's certain. office said this was a grant of 25 crore mm -hmm. for the Special Operations Group. I don't see that. I don't see that. There is no separate group. It is part of the whole. Let me put so, something to you. On every issue that I've touched, custodial deaths, disappearances, detainees not being released, or the uh, special operations group, you've denied the facts your own people quote. Can I, you, I do, you, do you think there's a difference coming between you and the Kashmiris? The fundamental question is, there is sense of confidence, sense of security among the people. How is it? Because security forces have uh, behaved. 
they have given human touch to it. This is a comprehensive policy of the government. Let me once Where again. Where the people are responding. Let me once again. People are not secure. There have been many incidents in my time as well. There was an attack on my, near my house. You know. But uh, the uh, boys were playing their cricket. Shops were open. Chief Minister, people of life. The, I call them the me people or the fountain of head of power. No, they want peace with dignity. Forgive me. Life continued in Srinagar even during the worst years of militancy because people have not a way that. of getting on with their life. What they wanted not was have. relief. Your own daughter, Mehbooba Mufti, who is in fact the president of your uh -huh. People's Democratic Party, is on record saying that state terrorism continues even under her father's government. I don't see. There is no state. I don't agree with that position. She's wrong? Our, no, yes. Security horse forces have behaved. Uh, they have been made accountable. They have avoided human rights violation. Therefore, there is a sense of confidence. So then why does your policy. daughter say state How terrorism... Did we had 150 conferences. But why does your daughter How say this? It? We had national tournaments of football, cricket, water sports. But why does your daughter say this? I don't know. How is it to have 100... One hundred, one lakh and fifty thousand. She's not just there. your daughter. Why is it Amarnath Yatravat incident? She's the president of your party. No, I don't see, but it's a, it's a big challenge. This is a very difficult situation to handle. You have to, you have to accept certain ground realities. Are those excuses for lapses? I don't see. I don't see. I see a move, movement forward, movement forward for better things to come. Okay. You say you see movement forward. In mm. which case, you spoke right at the beginning about efforts that you've made to rehabilitate orphans, to rehabilitate widows. Yes. This was part of your common minimum yes. program. However, your critics turn around and say, other than offering jobs to the widows and orphans of dead militants, and jobs were offered by Farooq Abdullah as well, the chief minister has done nothing else. It is different. We have given jobs uh, under the uh, prime minister's employment package. We are providing 50,000 Jobs. Too. But right, so those are jobs that so the central state is not the government. 26,000 teachers are getting employment. We do it according to certain, certain norms. But employment, not a penny is to be spent. Employment was being given by the Farooq Abdullah government no, not, as not, well. Not in fair really? manner, not according to norms. It was a, a favoritism, nepotism. We have a lot of uh, court cases here. During our system, we have tried to, uh, tried to improve the system. We have uh, established several norms of uh, employment. Then how is it that your critics turn around and say that the Department for the Rehabilitation of Victims of Violence is defunct, that it no, is it considered is by civil servants as a punishment posting? No, it is a dynamic system, I must tell you. I can't say. I have no magic wand to change everything. But uh, it is like saying, well begun is half done. Do you know, there is a movement forward. Chief and Minister, we are trying to improve the situation. I listen to you say there's a movement forward. I listen to you say it's a dynamic situation. I listen to you say that you're doing everything. Your own people find fault with every measure of relief that you claim you've given. Why don't they believe you? Criticism is always there. It is, there are people who criticize, who oppose. But they are beginning to prepare. doubt your word today the way they doubted the word of your predecessors. I don't see. We try, continue to have the goodwill. I my service, myself um, surprised to see the response of the people. In which case, let's talk about... For instance, when we started demolition drive, people themselves started uh, removing their uh, whatever encouragements they had. People are responsive. Let's come, so I'm encouraged. Let's come to the 3.5 lakh Kashmiri Pandit community. In your common minimum program, you said Kashmir was their motherland. You said that their return to Kashmir was an essential ingredient of Kashmir. Yet you've done nothing to bring them back. I say in that case, we had this Khir Bhavani Mela. 50,000 Kashmiri Pandits came. Uh, and how many that. stayed? Many, many of them are coming. Staying. How many Kashmiri Pandits have returned I don't to the valley? Be, as far as return of uh, Kashmiri Pandits is con concerned, uh, this is, that is my pledge. That minuscule minority of 2%. What is Kashmir yet if we can't bring them back? Then why aren't you delivering I will bring on them this? back without creating any media hype. 
not necessary. Chief Minister, again, I want to quote your words to you. It is my pledge. Yes. What is Kashmiriyat if we can't bring them back? But but we? one year has passed and you haven't done anything no. to bring them no, back. We are trying. We are trying. It is not necessary to publicize when you say anything. You are trying, we are trying. What are you doing? We are taking concrete measures to bring them back. Such as what? Such as give, providing whoever is here, whoever comes, giving them employment. But no one giving. has come. Coming. No one has claimed it. Coming. Because no one either. believes you. No, people want to come. People want to come. As people want to come, but don't come. Especially return? young ones. We got some Kashmiri children who were born after 1989. We got them here. Hundreds of them. Chief Minister, pause for a moment and look at the situation. Inside the valley, your critics say that orphans and widows continue to suffer. Outside the valley, Kashmiri pundits remain refugees. No, no, orphans, Inside orphans. the valley, custodial killings this, continue. Disappearances are no, increasing, no, no. I say, I say, detainees remain in I jail. I say those instances are exceptions to the general rule. But there are, so are many, rare. There are so many they exceptions. Were the, they were the order in previous regime, that, that, that was the order of the day. Now that is not. There are so many exceptions, who, nobody, your regime looks like the previous regime. I must make it clear, nobody expects any human right violation, custodial death during our time. When there is an instant, people come on roads. Do you know what the they big protest. Do you know what the big uh, difference we have, is? We have, we, have, we have proceeded as far as democratic functioning, political process. When there is no election in Valais, they come on roads. Do you know what the big difference is? People say that this chief minister is an open man. You can meet him, he is accessible. But he hasn't delivered on his promises. And they say that as a result, the healing touch is a slogan. It's not a reality. It is our faith. It is an act of faith with us. I must tell you, I have visited areas no chief minister could tear to. Then how do you Go explain here. the fact that today in your capital, Srinagar, acts of militant violence have increased sharply? Isn't that a that sign those, that people don't share your you, faith? Those who are enemies of peace, those who don't want normalization here, they will try to derail the process. But look at but the target. That, 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 that should not, as far as our determination is, that is clear. But look at the target. I, I, have, I have a road map for peace. I have a road map for a situation of normalcy. That's there. Yeah. But look at the targets they're picking. They're picking on your legislators, they're picking on your ministers, they're even but picking that, on the house where you live. But that doesn't allow the process, that doesn't affect the process of normalization. But isn't it? We are on our toes. We are facing it politically. I have a number of 150 public meetings that I have. Everybody is having public meetings. Even Gilani is having. Your, Yassin Malik is having. Your, Sajjad Loan is having. Dr. Farah Kutla is having. It is the flowering of democracy. I want to tell them, those who have guns in their hands, they have no cause to fight. You are confident because that Mufti I... Muhammad Said has really made a major difference? Yes, I see. And I even see like those... praise, I don't want to praise myself. People should comment on that. But I see what we are, our we have done, our determination is very clear. Then I what... see, what is my hope? Then my, what hope do you... is, my hope is response of the people of Jammu and Kashmir. But then they what? are not bothered by incident, these incidents. But then they Chief want Minister, the peace process to go ahead. But the, that is a good no, but you say they are not bothered by these incidents. Yes, you say they, they want the peace process to go ahead. But not. these incidents affect their lives. What do you say to them? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't affect their lives. So yeah, they, when, when my house was attacked, there was attack near my house. No difference. All right. Let's I, then... said, I said I have to be here. Why I should run away from this place? All right. You are saying that more important than the incidents it's is the situation. peace process. It's Let's the, come. It's a sense of confidence, sense of security, sense of hope for better tomorrow. Of the people. Then but let's they, come. They to... see a better work tomorrow. They see a ray of hope. Then let's come. Therefore, to... they respond to our actions. Then let's come to the peace process because clearly that's what you think is the important thing. That, in your eyes, excuses the incidents that are continuing. Yes, yes. The Deputy Prime Minister is going to be holding talks with the Hurriyat organization after Eid. What should those talks be about? I think I, say, I have made it very clear. Uh, the Prime Minister, after seeing the response of the people here, he offered a hand of friendship. But that I... wasn't a fluke. That was a well thought out uh, proposal. Now it is uh, followed up by appointing deputy prime minister to talk. But I'm to going further. Him. What should those talks be about? They will be unconditional talks. Unconditional because talks. You, you can't put court before horse. You can't decide before talking. But pause a moment. When, pause a moment, Chief Minister. When you say they should be unconditional talks, 
can the talks cover subjects outside the Indian constitution? That's to be discussed between the two. The two prime ministers will talk, they will talk. So the agenda will be determined yes. by the two parties? Yes, two parties, they will naturally, they will talk. The Hurriyat organization will play a role in determining the agenda? They will also have their own agenda, why not? Do you when they go to talk, they will talk on their own terms, they will have their own terms to talk, naturally. Do you as Chief Minister of Jammu and Kashmir have a role in these talks? Uh, I think uh, the atmosphere uh, is, as far as we are concerned, we are here since last one year, we have made atmosphere conducive for talks. What a, Even I have been pleading before Prime Minister, Mr. Vora is all right, quite experienced officer, bureaucrat, famous. But at the higher level, political level, we have to talk to them. But will you be a participant in the talks yourself? Well, I, I'm not a, the Chief Minister of Jammu and Kashmir. I don't represent people of Jammu and Kashmir. But is that yes but, or no? But, will, will you be those, but you have to talk to those who don't believe in accession. So in I'm other words, this is very no, interesting. No, no, you have, pause you, moment. You have to be specific. You have to talk to them. You have to engage them. But let's then work out who these people are. Should the Deputy Prime Minister be talking to the Hurek breakaway group led by Mr. Gilani? Everybody, everybody who has, uh, our talks to offer should be to everybody. Including militant groups like the Hezbollah Mujahideen? No, that is their term. They have been talking in Mizoram, they have been talking with militant organizations. So Prime Minister has been talking to them. So you are saying the Deputy so Prime Minister should first, talk to first, militant groups? I say first phase is the Hurek. Second, it is not. I don't think that option should be closed. That option because you should have not involved. be closed. No, it should not be closed. I don't Let's come that. to what you and your party, the PDP, believe in. People say they have no idea what future the Mufti sees for Kashmir. The National Conference wants to go back to the pre-53 position. Congress wants to go back to the 75 Accord. The BJP, on the other hand, wants to scrap Article 370. What does the Mufti I will for. talk about that when um, somebody talks to me, I will have an opportunity. Why talk. won't Why you tell not? me? No, I will talk. <laughs> I should talk before. But you Whatever ideas I have, I have some brilliant ideas. I see a brighter, a brighter tomorrow for people of Jammu and Kashmir. I see nowadays during my tenure, it is not, uh, talking subject is not war. It is only peace. But Why peace, won't you? Peace in the subcontinent. But Everybody talking. But Chief that Minister, talking, Chief Minister, why won't talking. you... They talk only peace. But they don't wh talk about war. Why won't that you, is my achievement. No, Chief Minister, why won't you lay out your cards on the table like the National Conference has done, know. like the BJP? You don't want I, to. I, I don't. I will talk. I will talk when I'm asked, when I'm... And I, I am invited to talk. But I am inviting you no, to no, talk. No, no, I will talk. I will talk at the proper time. Let me put it like this. Are you scared to lay out your cards on no, the table? No, I am not. I am not. At, uh, I am I, one of ideas are quite clear. Have you actually worked out your position or have you yet to make up your mind? No, I have like, I have made up my mind. I have some thing to talk about. So the Chief the Minister of Kashmir has a clear idea of what he would like the future of I his state to be, yes, but that. he won't reveal it. Huh. He won't reveal it. You are keeping it, it a secret. It is like Dr. Abdul Kalam saying Kashmir is embedded in the soul of India. No, let's not talk about Dr. Abdul Kalam. I want to talk about Mufti Muhammad Said. You have often said that you would like to bring families separated by the LOC together. Yes. Would you like to see soft borders between the two Kashmiris? Right, definitely so. Because uh, that is very, uh, people to people uh, contact is very essential. There are divided families. Brother is here, sister is there, father is there, son is there. So you want That is a human problem, why not? So you want soft borders? Yes, we want. Benazir Bhutto, the former Prime Minister of Pakistan, used to go further. She said, we should think about concepts like shared sovereignty, free trade. Do you share those concepts? If some gray areas for future. These are the things to be discussed and debated. It, will take, it is a time-consuming process. It can't be done. It is a very difficult problem to handle. It can't be done in one go. But you deliberately you have, want you to have, It is a gradual process. It will be a gradual process. But you it will be time consuming. But you said something very interesting. You deliberately want to leave this as a grey area for the future. Yes, why not? But do you be. see some, hope? some space you should leave? Why not? Do you see hope down this road? Is this it's, one road to follow? Yes, I think there is only road. There is only way out. This is the only way yeah. out. Yes. To talk and to settle, to resolve. Now the Indian government's formal position is that no talks with Pakistan can happen while cross-border terrorism lasts. Do you share that view or do you think that in fact I talks think number will of, end the violence? I must say a number of 
innocent people are getting killed here. We had 140 uh, cross-border incidents. In, in that incident, 130 foreign uh, militants were So killed. does this mean the time so, has come to no, talk? So, so, so that, that is one well of the fundamental, because Kashmir is bullied in. People are getting innocent, people are getting killed. This bloodshed should be stopped. When you, when you say about talking, about dialogue, then you have to move that hand as well. So you are saying the time for talks is now? It is, yes. You are it, saying it to is, the... It is, it is writing on the wall. So you are you saying to, to the government of India in Delhi, start the talks with they Pakistan? Have, they have. In fact, I have persuaded them when I ever met a Prime Minister, Deputy Prime Minister, even leader of opposition, Sonia Gandhi. I told them, you want the them dialogue to start, is the answer. You, and you want that dialogue answer starting now? Oh, yes, it is starting. Chief Minister, a pleasure having you on the program.